hello everyone welcome back to my channel today's video guys i have a fun little haul for you guys i placed a couple orders with scrapbook.com i got some things from dollar tree some an order from etsy um what else and then some stuff from simon says stamps i barely order with them but i placed a couple of orders with them some of these things i've been having for some weeks um, and then some of these things, they took a long time to come in. So that's why I'm just now being able to show it to you guys. But since they came in, they are available. Okay. So let's get started. Let's start with Dollar Tree. So yesterday I went to Dollar Tree to get a couple of things and I picked up this little stamp block. Hi, Bemos. This one is the gridded one. Guys, if snatches whenever you see them because it's always good to have them around i picked up these beads right here they're iridescent beads there's the black with the like rainbow colors hi tanya hi cheryl hello everyone the pink and then the white really cute little plastic beads you guys great to have in your stash for a dollar 25 you cannot beat it and then i picked up these these are kind of irregular um i don't know what's the, the name of these but these will be perfect little bunny ear um beads we have them in white we have them in red and then the black with the different colors as well so i grabbed two packs of those my baby lexi picked these out these are little squishy pals guys these are great for little stuffers for your little easter baskets for your kiddos and i got hair everywhere sorry my hair sheds so much sometimes and then um i always grab these little goodie ones whenever my kids they lose these like socks, okay? I don't know about you guys, but in my house, like there's never matching pairs of socks for some reason. The socks go missing in my house. The forks go missing in my house because of my husband. And so do the ponytails because of my girls. So I always try to snatch some of those. I also picked up some things for some possible pro projects. So this is the champagne glasses. They're like little plastic, you know, faux glass looking things. Um, but it's just a little champagne glass, six pieces in here for $1.25. And then this candlestick holder, I wanted it for a project that I am working on. Um, and I almost didn't find these. These were, these were on an end cap somewhere where they didn't belong. So I was lucky to snatch them. I grabbed, I think I grabbed two, but I only see one in my bag. And then I also picked up these bowls, and they're also plastic, like faux glass. So I'm going to be having some projects with these soon. I have to find a new Dollar Tree. The one I go to never has stock. I know mine is usually really good, but since um, Valentine's Day, they've really been sucking. Like, they have not gotten really anything new. It seems like all the stuff that's new is still in boxes. So mine's has been a little trash lately too. Um, I did find some good things the other day. So these are I I go to Dollar Tree often, you guys. And this is new in my Dollar Tree. They're clay craft tools, and I have no clue on what each of these do. They probably do like texture and different things. But I thought this was cool. It says excellent for clay making, modeling, and shaping. Great for clay art projects. Provides you with essential needs needed to make unique creations out of modeling clay. So six pieces. I thought that was cool. Yeah, and then exactly, Dollar Tree stores are not created equal. That's so true. And I hear that a lot of them are gonna be closing. So yeah, I guess that extra 25 cents didn't help nothing, huh? All that money they made off of us. And they had pom-pom makers, you guys. I did not need these in my stash. I grabbed them solely just to show you guys, but I'm going to give these to my girls. They're going to have fun with these. Um, this is a two-piece set. You get the small, the medium, and then they sell the large separately, you guys. So these are cool little things that are at Dollar Tree now. And then they also had this, which I thought was cool, is fusible interfacing. Now, I had no clue what this is, guys, but interfacing is like, basically what you put underneath um fabric or whatever to make it like a little thicker or like a it's something like equivalent to that i would say so it says it's great and this is fusible so that means that you'll be able to heat it and it will stick so it has glue on it okay i had to learn that the hard way you guys <laughs> you get 20 inches by one yard 
it says this one's heavyweight, great for jackets and waistbands, sewable, machine washable, non-woven poly blend. So this is great, guys, for $1.25 if you need it for a quick project. And it shows you how you do it. Okay, so I use this for my coasters. Um, I haven't tried a Dollar Tree one. I've tried two different... Um, I found some on clearance at Hobby Lobby months ago. And so I tried that. It was really thin. So this one says it's heavyweight. I'm going to try it out and let you guys know what I think about it. But for $1.25, I think that it is great for you guys to snatch and have it in your stash. Just in case you come across something that you want to make and you might need it for, okay? $1.25, you cannot beat it. And guys, I saw these little socks. I grabbed these for Ava. I thought these were so cute. You guys remember these? During Easter, all the little girls would wear these with their little Michael Jackson little loafers or whatever you call them. Hi, Angelica. I miss you, girl. And so I was like, oh, my God, this is, was, like, nostalgic for me. And I'm like, let me get this for Ava. I'm going to have to, like, leg Ava, she likes to wear leggings and T-shirts and, you know, stuff like that. But we're going to have to get her dog up in a quinceanera dress with those little fluffy socks. Hi, Sandra. So I grabbed those because I thought they were so cute. I remember I used to put those on my girls when they were little. But now they're teenagers. So I got to do it with Ava. Okay. So that is all that I got from Dollar Tree, you guys. I've been placing a couple orders. I've been being a bad girl. But being a bad, bad girl. I placed an order with Etsy and I got some more seam binding. There were some colors that I didn't have. And you can never have too much seam binding, you guys. Uh, you guys know I love adding it to my projects, and this is where I snatch them from. So it's from My Scrap Cabin. She is an Etsy seller. I feel like everybody shops with her. So almost everybody gets their seam binding from her, I feel like. Look at these beautiful colors, guys. They had bundles, and I'll try to remember how these came. I don't think I'm going to remember how they came, guys. But let me show you guys. There you go, the Mary Jane shoes. Do you guys remember Payless? I remember Payless. And I remember when I was younger, you used to always get teased in schools that I went to, at least in Chicago. They used to sing a song and it used to go, Payless shoes ain't got no grip. You fall down and bust your shit. <laughs> yes, her seam binding is gorgeous, you guys. And she usually sells, she sells these singly, but she always has bundles which is what I usually grab because they're just so beautiful. Oh, and she always needs a little note. Thank you. You are, um, I hope you're doing well. Enjoy your new bundles. It's been a while since I ordered from her because my seam binding lasts me pretty long, you guys. But don't you guys remember Payless? They used to have all the cute little shoes and stuff. All right, I have no clue how this came. I want to say like this was a bundle. Oh, my kids better not start all that yelling. I tried to pre-record it yesterday, and they were yelling in my video, and I'm like, you know what? I definitely grabbed a pink bundle. So, usually the bundles are like 10 Hi, Aldrina. Welcome. They're usually like $10, or you can buy them singly for two-something. Um, Or she has some that, like, if they have, like, five or something, they'll be 13 Okay? So, I'm thinking that, yeah, this was probably one. This was one. All right, guys, don't quote me on this, okay? Because I don't know how it came. But I know I bought three different bundles. I think this is the first bundle that I bought. And look at how beautiful these colors are, you guys. Be aware, okay? When you go on this Etsy seller shop, you're going to want to grab all the color combinations because they're gorgeous. But I'm going to show you guys the colors. And I'm going to tell you the color names in case you want to buy any of these singly, okay? Because you don't have to grab them in whatever. i never seen a $10 deal. Yeah, she has them for $10. Like $10 and some change, I believe. So this one is called Mimosa, and I didn't—I don't think I have any yellow in my stash. So I grabbed this one because, you know, I've been playing with yellow a lot. So Mimosa is the color of this beautiful yellow, if you guys want to grab it. This is a pretty aqua color, and this is light jade. So the color combination she puts together, they're gorgeous, you guys. This is a, like, off-white. It's ivory. And then this pink is called Sun Rose. Look at how beautiful, guys. You just have to grab all of the pinks, okay? 
And I'm going to put this one with these so you guys can see in comparison the pinks. All right, this is a double sun rose. So this one came with sun rose as well. All right, let me put this back in the bag. I love seam binding. It adds like the perfect touch to any project, you guys. I grabbed this bundle here. I think this was a bundle, you guys. I really cannot remember. I want to say that it was. But I grabbed them because of these purples. I want to play with... Um, Bye, um, Angelica. Thanks for stopping in. I wanted to play with like Paraso or Woolen Grove <coughs> soon. And it has these colors. So I wasn't sure if I had these in my stash. Because I don't really buy purple a lot. So this is Red Violet. Really beautiful color, you guys. Again, you can get these in the bundle or singly. Violet, look at how beautiful. That violet is so gorgeous. So these are the colors that I was really looking towards because they match perfect with those two collections that I mentioned. Lilac and then Lido Violet. That's a cute name. And then this one is the Sun Rose, the same color pink. So look at how beautiful they look together, you guys. They're gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I do have a video on how you can dye your own seam binding. But I like to buy these from her because it's already done. And it's a lot of work dyeing them yourself sometimes. Okay. I grab this one here. And I grab the black. So here's her black. I do have black, but it's not crinkled. Then my friend BB gifted me. Thank you, BB, for that. I love that um, seam binding girl. Frosting. This is one of my favorite pinks, you guys. Frosting. Some of these colors are always sold out. So there's frosting. White. And I have white in my stash as well, but it's not crinkled. And then I grabbed the silver, but it looks gray. It's a pretty gray, guys. Silver could never. This is a beautiful gray. Okay. Let me put those in my bag. And I'm going to put this one here so you guys can see in comparison these pinks, all right? Because if you're a pink lover... You got to know all the pinks so you know which one to get that you want. And I love to keep them in this packaging that she sends them in. All right. These are the pinks. Again, these are some from other bundles, but these are the pinks that I have. I like to use these to tie bows. Um, we just did a project yesterday on my channel. If you guys missed it, check it out. And I just like to tie bows with them. I like to add them to the top of tags. Um, I have this book that I've been working on. And I love to do closures with them for mini albums or books. That's what I love to use them for. But you can use them for so many things. All right. So Sun Rose, you guys saw. Then we have Hot Pink. And you guys can see in comparison. So pretty, you guys. I just would want all the pinks. Tulip. It's a really nice pink as well. Ballerina is one of my favorites. I buy a lot of ballerina. It is a little bit lighter than... Okay, this is the ballerina. It's a little bit lighter than this one, the frosting that I love. So you see, it's a little bit brighter. You can't really tell too much on camera, but you can see it in person. This one is a lot lighter. more it has more white to it. Okay. So those are all the seam bindings. I spent a total of $40, I think, all together with shipping and everything. So again, you can grab the bundles or you can just grab them singly, you guys. Any color you can think of, she probably has the color for. All right, so that's my seam binding haul. Um, I placed an order with Simon Says Stamp. And I rarely order with them because they look rich. They look too rich for my blood. But they have some really good exclusive things, you guys. Hi, Kathy. Oh, no. Tell them to give you a longer break, girl. Okay, so this is my first order. I placed this order some weeks ago, but I was waiting for my other package to come in. And I wasn't expecting it to take that long. And it took really long, guys. So I had to snatch this embossing folder. Simon Says Stance has some bomb exclusive, exclusively to them, um, embossing folders that I need to grab, guys. So I grabbed this bunny one. And this is how it looks. It embosses. 
like that. I think we might emboss on this live. I'm not sure, you guys. But they do always have $5 coupons and stuff like that. So I always search, like, in the Google search bar. I always um, type in Simon Says stamps coupons and then the codes will usually work but if you place an order with them they always give a coupon and guys this has a little die to it it has a little die so you can cut these out and i did not know that so i love this i have to snatch it, you guys it was um i want to say it was a little pricey it was probably like 15 maybe close to 20 dollars. i can't remember but it is well worth it it looks like from the picture it looks like it's a 3d embossing folder so the name of this one is Playful Bunnies. And again, exclusive to um, Simon Says stamps. So while I was there, you know, you get charged shipping. So I'm like, I got to make it worth it. So I grabbed some other things and I grabbed these doodle bug puffy icon stickers. And I know all of you guys who know me, you're like, what? You got some doodle bug? I don't, um, some of the doodle bug stuff too cutesy for me, but I love their, they always have really bomb stickers and stuff like that. So you guys know I'm obsessed with peeps and rabbits and all that stuff. So that's why I grabbed this. Look at it. It's fully loaded. Really big um, puffy sticker. This one's called Bunny Hop. And it has little flowers, little peeps. You can layer the flowers on the peeps. That would be cute. Look at the little chickies. So adorable. Guys, I'm so sad that um, Easter is coming to an end. I feel like it came, so, came and went so quick. This little basket with the chocolate bunny. Okay, and then you get all these adorable colors, the little carrots, and they have different designs. So this one's striped, this one's plaid, this one's polka dot, this one has smaller polka dots, and then it's repeated. We have this bunny, and then they got bows on them. Some of them have bows. Yeah, it is too cutesy. Um, but I, some of the papers are so gorgeous. I like to get them single sheet on the ones that I love. And then I really don't buy the stickers too much, but I always see them, and they're gorgeous. But I had to have the set, guys. The little jelly beans, the chocolate bunnies. Look at these chickies. They're so cute. Another set of bunnies, some Easter eggs. I'm not sure if this is like grass or like the tops of carrots. And then these florals. Hi, Veronica. So I grabbed that. And then last but not least, I didn't grab too much stuff on this first order, but it did add up. I grabbed this pink and main embossing powder, and it's called Spring Meadow. Look at how pretty it is, guys. So we're going to emboss this on this live so you guys can see how it looks. I'm curious to see how it looks. I know y'all want to see how it looks. So I grabbed that. That was my first order. And then um, I've been seeing Mr. Rabbit. I don't know if you guys have seen him. He's a new Tim Holtz stamp that came out. And I was going to order it from somewhere else and I'm glad that I didn't because when I went on Simon Says Stamp they have an exclusive um, die set that goes with it so guys I had to snatch it here's a coupon code if you guys want to use it okay if you place an order you can use it wild wld for you okay five dollars off your purchase of five dollars or more okay guys so this is the stamp and so Simon says, I think that, I think I, from what I remember, I think Tim Holtz started with them and I love how he's always like, he, he is so loyal to them. I feel like, and he's always doing exclusive things with Simon says stamps. I think that's so awesome. He doesn't forget where he started. I love that. So every now and again, when he has a release, they have things exclusive to go with the Tim Holtz stuff. And so you can get this stamp anywhere. I did link it down below for scrapbook.com. They are out of stock, guys, but you can sign up for notifications just in case this is sold out. But the only reason why I grabbed it from Simon Says Stamp is because they have the coordinating die. And they don't have that anywhere else, okay, guys? So this is the coordinating die. These don't come with dies. You guys know that these barely come with dies. I really don't buy a lot of these because I wasn't really into stamping. But for some reason, I was really gravitated towards this stamp, you guys. I thought it was so cute. And he's he's not like my typical cutesy like rabbit, but he's just so adorable to me. I just had to have him. I had to have it. And with the die set, let me show you guys what you get in the die set. So I ordered this weeks ago, and it took a long time to come in. It was a pre-order. So you can get this, you get the silhouette that cuts out the bunny. 
Um, let's see, what is this? I'm not sure what this is for. I have to look on the site. This is definitely for um his uh bow. This is for I don't know what that little triangle is for. Maybe his nose. And then you got these pieces. This might be for his like his shoulders jacket, maybe. I'm not sure, guys. But those are the dies that you get. And again, only exclusive to Simon Says Stamps. So I got to hurry up and play with some of these things, you guys, because Easter is almost over with. And I spent way too much money to not play with Mr. Rabbit. Maybe we'll do it on this uh, live. But isn't he cute? Look at all the detail. I love all the detail, how detailed it is, all the lining and cross hatching and all this texture on the bottom. And then all these are just like a bonus. Like, look at how cute. I've been seeing some really cute cards being made with these and projects. And then this was going to be really nice for texture on anything. Isn't that cute, guys? So I got that. And then while I was there, I'm like, let me see what else they got. And I got this adorable little stamp set. Look at how cute. Oh, it got the dice. It got the coordinating dice. Yay. So this little chickie was just so, these chicks were so adorable. I had to snatch it. So we have this one here. It's got a little bow. Does it have plaid on the bow? No. They just colored it like that. Um, the ears, cute little uh, foliage. Happy Easter. This is like a little bonnet. So you can put all these dressies up. You know, you can put that on her hair, put that on his head. Um, we got a little daisy, a little flower middle, Easter wishes, a little egg, a little bonnet. Isn't that so cute? What is this called? A little like Easter hats. You remember we go to church and everybody got their Easter hats. So you can put that on the chickies. This cute little basket. I thought this was so cute. Easter bonnet. And then the little chickies coming out of the egg. So we got to play with these, you guys. I just never have time. To so some of my favorite peeps. I didn't see that one. And then last but not least, I grabbed these. <laughs> They're so funny. Light pink hot hands. So these are for embossing, you guys. And I do have a lot of tools. My favorite one is the one that I got from Little Paper Crafter, who is a Stampin' Up! representative. But since these were pink, you guys, I thought they were so cute. They're just little silicone hands. It's so big. <laughs> and they have different colors in these. So like when you're embossing, you just hold your paper and you emboss with it. But aren't they adorable? Yay. So cute. So they have different colors, guys. Check out the colors that they have. And I saw this somewhere online on Ranger, and I was going to order it from Ranger, but I'm like, let me see if they have it on time set stamps because I'm already placing an order, and they did. Okay. So that's all I got from Simon Says Stamp. I think that's enough, right, guys? More than enough. It definitely added up. You guys know how that is. It adds up. Next, I want to share with you guys what I got from scrapbook.com, and these are a couple of orders now, make sure you guys are subscribed to my YouTube channel here and make sure that you are signed up for notifications because I do always, I sometimes post in my community tab and I share deals and stuff like that, especially if it's something I feel like you guys should take advantage of or it's going to sell out before I haul it, I will always put it on my community tab so you guys get a chance to get it because I know you guys hate it when I show things and they're no longer available on the site. Okay, so this is one of those things that I shared. And if you got to get it, you got to get it. If you didn't, you missed out. Let me see if it says the price. No, it does not. All right, this was a bundle deal. And at first, I was not going to grab it, but I thought it was a really good price, you guys. They do have it available on scrapbook.com. It is a bundle set. I think it was maybe $29.99. And it came with the paper pad, the holographic, which I'll show you guys. It came with this. I think this banner die is what really made me want to get this. Because this Hello Plate, like, I don't care for it too much, but it's nice to have in your stash. So to me, it's like a freebie. You know what I mean? Um, but what I really loved is this flower cart. So when you put it together, this is what it looks like. And again, I really liked this. And I felt like with the paper, it was a great deal. So I grabbed it. But I was really close to not grabbing it, you guys. 
So look at how cute it has layering piece here. And you can see how they look. And they're tiny, which I love because we all have a lot of dies like this, but they're not this small. And I love the star. It gives you a couple pieces for you to like layer. And I think it's so cute. This reminds me of like the pom-pom trim. You can layer them together. So it came with all three of these dies and this holographic mirror paper. I've seen them show this a lot. And I always want to snatch it and I never snatch it. And so I think that's what really made me get this bundle. So let me show it to you guys. They have really great... Scrapbook.com has been killing it, you guys. They have some really, really great products. All right, let me get this open. And they're always nice and thick, guys. 40 sheets. Look at that. Poochie, have you ever shopped Brutus Monroe? You need to check them out. I picked up some fabulous items. Nice paper. I've seen a couple things, Cheryl, but I haven't grabbed anything yet. I haven't seen anything that was like... Oh, I gotta, gotta have this. You know what I mean? But I have seen some new products from them that are really nice. I've seen some cool, like, mixed media stuff from them. I'm gonna check them out again, girl. What did you get from them? Nice paper, you said. So, like, collections? Is it, like, a paper collection? All right, guys. This is the holographic mirror paper. Um, again, I did post a bundle for this, it, but it's not included with this. So, I think they sold out, maybe, and they couldn't include it in the bundle anymore. But whenever... They only have this for a certain time, and then the price goes up. So it's $35 now. I know I didn't pay $35. I know I paid less than that. But we have silver for all you caca silver lovers. We have gold, and this is the mirror. And then we have a hollow. And then we start to get into the good stuff. Like, look at that. Wow. So beautiful, you guys. Look at that. So it's like pixelated. I don't know what you call that style, but there's like little dots and it picks up every color. And then look at the stars. This is a beautiful pad, you guys. Yes, I bought a space theme papers and Wizard of Oz. What, girl? I got to see the Wizard of Oz one. And some sprays and space die cut set. Cheryl, I might have to check it out because I love the Wizard of Oz. I think that'll be some really cute projects, girl. Guys, look at those stars. Aren't they gorgeous? I hope they have that in the gold. Yeah, they do. And then these are some tiny stars. This paper is fire, you guys. So you don't, you can always, whenever they have these bundles and they're gone, you can always buy these things separately. So the dies are available by themselves, but they're like $20 by itself, guys. So it was totally worth it for me to grab the bundle. Hi, Amber. The papers are thick and almost like photos. I got to try some, girl. Look at how beautiful that is, guys. So pretty. There's like a disco ball set that they have. I'm really thinking about getting it. But I just don't know if I will use it. It will be cool to have in my stash. And then there's this one. And I think that's the last one. So you get four of each, I believe. Yeah. But isn't that pad fire, guys? It's so pretty. Like, look at that. I really like the ones with the stars. They're beautiful. And then you get those mirror ones. So that is the holographic mirror. And this is the, it doesn't say what size. Four by two by five by five. They might have a bigger pad of these, you guys. So I grabbed that bundle. And then while I was shopping, I did grab this one. This is a new um, American Crafts collection that came out. Um, I didn't grab the collection. I didn't want it. But I was looking at the stamp and the die. And, of course, I grabbed the die first. So it just creates these cute little tickets, this layered flower, the butterfly, and then this little banner. So I grabbed that, guys. That was my first order. I've been having it for weeks. I like to, since I'm always um, tied up with my design team stuff, whenever I do these uh, hauls, especially with Scrapbook.com because I spend a lot of money, um, I like to play with them on the live so that I get a chance to play with it at least once. Because if not, it's just going to get put into my hoard vault and it won't get touched until like I need it for something. So I did place another order and I did because of the free gifts. There wasn't a free gift with this one, you guys. So, you know, I really wanted that bundle because I usually don't shop without the free bundles, the free items. All right, let me open this box. I should have had it open for you guys. Sorry.
All right, this is my recent order with scrapbook.com. Guys, they had a new, um, they have some new products from scrapbook.com. And one of them is this, this like little stand and it's magnetic and you can like put your dies on there, your small dies. And I was like second guessing. I was like, Ooh, I want it. But it was a little bit like, it wasn't pricey, but I was like, Oh, I don't know if I want to pay that much for it. It was a decent price. You know what I mean? It wasn't like too expensive or whatever. But I was like, let me think about it. I'm going to grab the jewel picker first. I picked up this. This is new. And it sold out. I was like, no. So now it's sold out. I missed out on it. But I do have my notifications. So scrapbook.com. You guys know I love gem pickers. And this one is thick. They also sell replacements for this in case it stops sticking. It looks like this might open. I'm not going to open it, though. But it's just a cute white gem picker. I do have ones that are prettier. Like I have that gold one that was expensive. And then here's this part. You can poke with this. You can press your gems down into place. This one's really long. But I like that it's cute because I can't miss it. You know what I mean? Like you can't lose this. Look at how big it is. It is long. So I grabbed this, guys. I think it was like $10, maybe under $10. So I grabbed that. That's a new scrapbook.com um product and then i got free gifts i got this as a free gift and this is actually a free gift right now guys and i think there's a coupon code available you know that they rarely do coupon codes so take advantage especially if you're gonna buy like a high priced item if you're looking to get like a machine or whatever take advantage of those coupons because it will help so this is the scallop flower die and it's really cute if you look on the site they have some really cute um examples that was free I got this for free, and this is big. It looks smaller on, on the site. So it's pink. It says scrapbook.com, and it's a deluxe adhesive roller, 98 feet. That was free. And Bailey hooked my package up. Thank you, Bailey. That's cute. And this was also free. It's a Simon Hurley um, spellbinder's guide. It's called Foilage Hello. Let me plug my phone in, guys. My little thing is coming up saying low battery. So that was free, guys. This is cute. Spellbinders is a great. They have great products. And then what I placed for my order are these things here. So I've been wanting to get this new Honeybees release. But that stuff added up, you guys. And I just grabbed a few. There's some things that I still want to get. Oh, this is so tiny. I thought this was bigger than what it looked like. I love, I'm so happy that I grabbed this. I have tons of postcard dies, but nothing like this small one. So really cute from Honey Bee Stamps. And there's another one that's a floral one that I want to get. But now, I don't know, because it looks like it has a lot, a lot of pieces to it. I just got it, and I have not tried it yet. I also picked up some pink plastic envelopes for 12 by 12 paper. Kind of expensive, but I had to have the pink, and I like to keep things. Where'd you get those from, Cheryl? From scrapbook.com? Yes, their pink envelopes are gorgeous, girl. I want to get the mint and pink ones. But I'm just always getting other things. So I also grabbed, and this is what they sent, Embark on a Colorful Journey. They're showing some alt-new markers. For coloring. Okay. That's a pretty set right there. All right. So that's what they sent in the packaging. So I grabbed this, you guys. These two go together, I believe. Yes. And this is the embossing folder. It just makes these cute little dots. And then it also has like a little lace thing on the bottom. And you use this to cut the edge. So you can make a really cute little like, you know, this could be, um, I could see this used for a mini album. And you'll have this cute scallop edge on the side. I think that would be really cute. It's a lot bigger than what I thought it was. But I love, I'm love. i loving the sizes. So yeah, this is um, one of the newer releases. I think they just released something new though. For Honey Bee Stamp. I love their products. I just got to pick and choose, guys. I can't, you know. 
I can't get everything that I want, unfortunately, as much as I want to get everything. We all want, you know, to get everything, but we can't sometimes. So I just wait and I waited on this and I grabbed some of it now. So that's everything that I grabbed, you guys. One more thing. And we're going to, I think we're going to emboss. I want to try that bunny. And we can also stamp if you guys want. I also placed an order with Aya. She's a D-stash page that um, she always has really great D-stashes. You guys already know. And I really try to stay away. But she always has some really cute things on there. And they're sometimes they're just like an unbeatable price. And I have to have it. Hold on, because I'm not opening this right. Hi, Lana. Okay. I'm scared I was going to cut my stuff. So, from Aya, she had these Tim Holtz um, dies for $5. So, I got the Love Struck. It's the Cupid with the heart. I got this. Um, I don't remember grabbing this one. The uh, Snowflake, for $5, I couldn't beat it. And this was such a great price. This is the tag with the little tabs. Five bucks. This is a really great deal. Um, I grabbed this trick or treat one. Hi, Sarah. Thank you so much. And then I grabbed this one from the greedy. I'm super, super excited about this one. Guys, I'm going to have to start doing some damage on the greedy because they've been having some really cute stuff. I've been kind of getting a little bit addicted to their things and I don't want to get addicted to their stuff. But they have some really cute things, guys. So this is like an older dye, and it makes all these cute little desserts. This looks like a rosette cup. You know, like the cupcake liner. And then you would go ahead and put, look at it. It's got like little strawberries, little cherries, little chocolates, little wafers. Yeah, girl, a really good deal. For five bucks, it's awesome. So, and then these little flower things, the little swirl of icing. So I grabbed that from her. I can't remember what the price was. I think it was like $20 or less. But I was like, let me go ahead and grab it. So I grabbed it from Aya. All right, guys. Let me see. What do we want to play with? What do you guys want to see me cut? We can... Should we put together this flower card? No, I don't want to put the flower card together. I do want to do these little banners. I think they're going to be adorable. We'll do the banners. Maybe we'll use some of that. We can't do too much on this live, guys, because I don't want it to be super long. We got to play with Mr. Rabbit, okay? Oh, I want to cut this postcard. It's so cute. Yes, it's going to make some really cute little sweets. I really want to cut this out, guys, because it's going to fit on my little mini. All right. What do I do with that? So should we cut? Let's stamp Mr. Rabbit first, guys. I have to. Because if I don't, it's just not going to get done. All right. You want to do the mini postcard first? Let's do the mini postcard. I want to cut that too. So many cute stamps, guys. I really want to play with this one. I just don't have enough time for everything, guys. But I'm super proud of myself because there was a time where I didn't even make time to play with some of the stuff that, you know, I just snatched. And so I've been making it my business to play with some of these things. And I'm just I'm proud of myself for that. Because it just all goes into the horde vault until I come across it again. I'm like, ooh, I forgot about this. Yes, we got to do the bunny. I'm going to do that for sure, Cheryl. I want to see this postcard, though. It's so cute, guys. The size is so small. I did not think it was going to be this small. I love it. I love the size. All right. 
I'm just cutting some paper to run through. Thank you, Cheryl. I appreciate you saying that. I've been trying to put a lot of stuff out for you guys. Whenever I feel like I'm getting stuff done and I do my videos or whatever, I just feel like I have so much more to do and I just feel like I'm not getting anything done. And that feeling sucks. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you guys for always sharing my stuff, sharing my projects, always tagging me and things, giving me credit for things. I just appreciate you guys so much. My, if it wasn't for my night owls, I really would not be doing crafting no more, for real, because sometimes it's just too much. All right. Guys, I have this link down below if you want to snatch it. It's going to sell out. Oh, my God. Look at how cute it is. Can you guys see the embossing? So cute. It's kind of hard to see. Yeah, you can see it. And it says, play stamp here. That is adorable. Hi, Sheikaboo. I know, girl. And I really want to do that, too. I don't want to. I've, I've been slowing down. I'm really proud of myself. I have been slowing down. Um, And I definitely want to use what I have. Because I have so much, and I really don't need anything. But, you know, when you see something cute, you see somebody make a cute project with something, you just want it. Yes, girl. I do Night Owl Lives. Every once in a blue moon. Whenever I get time to do a video, I try my best to jump on here and do a video. But it's always different times. Yeah, girl. I used to always go live late at night. Hi, Anastasia. Peace and love, Pucci. You are doing an awesome job. Thank you so much, girl. Okay. So there goes the postcard. I'm sorry, guys. We have to... What did I do with the embossing folder? I want to emboss that. I just got so much stuff around me. Projects I'm working on. Paper collections, all kinds of things. Hold on. What do I do with the embossing folder? Can I put it back in the package? I've got to run that embossing folder, you guys. Oh, right here. And I got to leave these out somewhere so I can see them because I want to use them. Look at how cute, guys. All right, let's do some bossy folder real quick before we start stamping. So I don't know. I think it's going to be my, my new latest obsession. It's going to be collecting some of these embossing folders from Sammy Says Stamp because they are exclusive. And they're nice, you guys. All right. This is how much I love you guys because I have to clear all this stuff in front of my die cutting machine. All right. So I'm going to move this, my cup. And then let me move my little thing with all my little die cuts and stuff so I can get to my machine. Yes, girl, they're cute. They're doodlebug. All right. So with the embossing folders, guys, I've been... You remember last time I was having a hard time? I was running my stuff the wrong way. This one, I might have to take this out, too. We'll see. No way, Amber. My craft room is always a mess. I don't think that I'm ever going to do one. My craft room never stays clean. I have not had a chance to, like, really get my craft room to where I want it. And I don't think I want to be sharing it, guys. It's just too much. All right. So, we're going to stick this in here. Let me see. This way. All right. Let's see if it runs like this. If it doesn't, then I got to take the other plate out. But with the typical... um. I think I got to take that one out, guys. Honestly, it looks too thick. You usually just have to take out one of your plates. Yeah, no. 
One day, though, girl, one day I will do a craft room tour when I have my life together and my craft room is together. But my life is together, y'all. Y'all know my life ain't together. All right, yeah, so I'm just doing the platform and one plate, and it's giving me a really good, it's going through nicely. Let's see. Oh, I knew it was going to be badass, guys. Look at that. So pretty. Oh, my God. So pretty. I did it on the wrong side. So beautiful, guys. Yeah, it's really hard with my kids, you guys. I'm telling you. Like, you already see, whenever I sneak in my room, I can't, I can't get an hour to myself because they're just, like, they're doing something. They're always into something. And I got to check on them. Especially my little four-year-old. It was about to be four, you guys. Can you believe it? I still cannot believe it sometimes. Okay, it's got to go this way. I'm going to do it again, guys. Because I want to have a couple of these to play with. Oh, my God. This bunny is... This one's so fire, guys. I love it. Yeah, I'm going to have to start collecting their stuff. Oh, my God, three dogs, Amber. You got your hands full, girl. I want a dog so bad, but I was like, no. I have four kids and a husband. That's enough. I know, Cheryl. And it's funny because my, my teenagers, they're like, that girl is not going to be four. She's only two. And I'm like, are you crazy? She's going to be four. Look at how beautiful. Oh, my God, it's so gorgeous. It's really dimensional, guys. Can you see that? Yes, I have four kiddos, four crumb snatchers. Okay, um, I feel like I should do the honey bee one too. Let me see. And honestly, I'm never gonna get my crafters together if I keep buying stuff. It's impossible. I need to stop buying things, but I can't. There's just always something cute that I need to have in my stash, you know? Okay. Yeah, let's do the honeybees one because I feel like if I don't do it in this live, I'm not going to do it. And I think I want to use white paper. All right. So let's try the honeybees one. And it looks like I might have to put that thing back on this one. So if your embossing folder is really thick, usually the 3D ones are really big, you have to take this part off. But if it's a regular one, like this like this one right here, I don't think we need to take it off. So I'm going to put it back. Oh my God, I love this embossing folder, you guys. And it has the little die to go with it. I feel like I'm going to lose something. Let me just put it right here. I don't want to lose that little die, you guys. With my look, I will lose it. That one little rabbit. I need to walk. I need to knock a wall down for more room for my craft room. Yes, girl. I, I dream of having a craft house. Like, I'll be like, bye, guys. I'm going crafting. And then I got, like, a little, little refrigerator in there. I got a bathroom. I got a bedroom in there. I got a couch in there. Everything that I could possibly want and need. My husband would be so mad. He'd be like, where is this woman at? You know where I'm at, homie. We're in my craft house. Okay. Oh, I said I was going to use the white. The white card stock. Whoa. Sorry, guys. Yes, girl. We need a craft house. We need our time, guys. As women, we do so much. I don't care what your life situation is. We do so much. We're built different. But I would love that. And then, you know, um, when they come to my craft house, they have to ring the bell. And then I'll turn off all the lights and act like I'm not home. <laughs> 
<laughs> my husband would be like, I know you in there, babe. <laughs> and he'll be like, shh. <laughs> I'll tell all my crafts play, shh. That'd be hilarious. And it better not have a bathroom or else I'll never be home. <laughs> I won't come back in the house at all. What mini do you have? Mini what? The little pink machine is um the We Are Memory Keeper. We Are Makers um the Evolution. I keep doing it on the wrong side. Look at how beautiful that is, guys. And then you use that die to cut that edge. So pretty. I don't know why I really wanted this. It looks so cute. Poochie, don't do like my husband did. He got a dog when our daughter went off to college and my son was in 10th uh, grade. So that left me with a dog plus you have to walk them. I know, girl. And I need the exercise. I could use the exercise for show. But... I'm not trying to pick up no dog poop, y'all. Okay, let's do, I want to put it on the pink as well. I don't want to pick up no dog poop. All right, let's run this pink one and then we're gonna go ahead and stamp, guys. So hopefully this live is not too long. You guys who catch the replay, just fast forward. So you can see what some of the stuff looks like. All right, this one is having trouble going in. So let me take off that plate. I wonder why. It's the same damn die. Let me just take it off. I'm not going to argue with it. So all these embossing folders, they're making 3D ones now. They're different sizes. So you have to change your sandwich sometimes. Yes. Everything is a responsibility now, girl. Even having a car. So many bills and responsibility attached to having a car is ridiculous. All right. So I didn't emboss as well as the other one because I needed to have that plate. All right. All right, that's good enough for me, guys. Let's put this away, and we're going to go ahead and stamp. Stick that embossing folder there. How do you guys store your embossing folders? I don't have too many. I have a nice little stash of them, and I have them, like, in a basket. I don't use my embossing folders like I should. But you guys saw I included them in a project recently. All right. Now I can move this stuff out the way. Let's do this, guys. Let's go ahead and stamp. Let me get my misty. Get my misty. And what I said we're going to do, Mr. Rabbit? Where did I put them? Where did I put all that that quickly? If you guys saw my crafting right now, you'd be like, what the hell? It is a... hot mess. And then when I clean, I can't find shit. Because I cleaned everything and put it somewhere, and I don't remember where I put it. Um, but people think, oh, how cute a doggy. Yeah. And then, oh, my God, when it gets sick. Oh, my God. I had the worst experience when I lived in Mississippi. Let's do a story time. Guys, when you are using these stamps, the red rubber stamps, you want to take um the foam piece out of. Hold on. You want to take the foam piece out of your Misty. I'll show you in a second. Let me just get this stuff out the way. I got way too much stuff everywhere. Let me just put this back in the bag. Okay. So story time.
when I lived in Mississippi, my husband got us a little dog. And it was so adorable. We had it for a long, long time. And one day, my dog got sick, you guys. And I was like freaking out because I knew he was really, really sick. And I can't remember what he was doing. I think he was like throwing everything. He was throwing up uncontrollably and all this craziness. Look at how beautiful the stamp is. And I was like, my husband was at work. And so, you know, I didn't know anything about uh, Mississippi much. Let me cut this. And so I just knew my dog was sick and I had to get my dog help. It looked like really bad. And it's, it's, his eyes started to change and anything. It was a girl. I think her name was Bella. Yes. Hi, Auntie Caffeine. Oh, what part are you at, Sheikah Boo? I didn't know you were in Mississippi. And so um, let me move this. So you got to take this foam piece out so you can get a good impression when you are using these rubber stamps because they are thicker than those other stamps that we use. You know, those clear ones. All right, guys. Let's stamp Mr. Rabbit in the corner right here. Uh, I don't want to make it too in the corner. My paper's crooked. Let's always put your paper in a corner, whatever corner you want. Sandra, don't do me like if my story times are boring, girl and put you to sleep don't do me all right so have your paper in the corner place your stamp where you want it on your misty guys they restocked the black misty i think in the blue one but not the rose quartz yet on scrapbook.com anyways you gotta do this to your new stamp okay so season it so you can get a good impression and i think we should emboss him right yeah let me get my embossing folder I don't think the story time is going to happen with Sandra. Sandra ruined it. Yeah, let's do the embossing powder because I want to. And guys, I have not used this embossing. Look, you can see all the yellow from, remember the last time it spilled all over me? Okay. Wait, let me plug in my, <laughs> this is never going to happen. Story time will never happen. Let me plug in my thing. My friend Beth got me this cute little extension cord. It's pink, but it only has three little, what you call it? So I got to unplug some stuff. There we go. All right. So anyways, my dog was really sick, you guys, and I was panicking. I'm like, babe, the dog is sick. Like, he doesn't look right. I've never seen that before. We had a lot of dogs over in our life. And so um, <laughs> I know I can't. It's too much. I'm trying to do this right. So anyways, I took the dog to the vet and I was like, I don't know what's wrong with my vet. What's wrong with my dog? And so they said that the dog had some kind of, and I can't remember what the disease is. It's something that they get in the, in the dirt in Mississippi. And I was like, what? Like, this doesn't even sound right. She could let me know if you know about what I'm talking about. But I was like, what do you mean? And, and I'm like, how can I help my dog? And there's like, there's nothing you can do. And I'm like, what do you mean there's nothing that I can do? And so, guys, like, I took my dog home. I was crying so bad. Like, I was crying so, so bad. Like, I love that dog so much. And they told me that there was nothing that I can do about the dog, that the dog was going to die. And it's like something in red dirt or some something like that. I don't know. And it's something that um, a lot of cats and dogs get there in Mississippi and that they can't help them. So my dog literally died in my hands, you guys. I saw the life leave out of my dog. It was so traumatic, so heartbreaking. Like, that messed me up so bad. So, yeah. What made me think of that? I don't know. But, oh, when you said the vet. So I was just so sad. I was like, how can you not help my dog? Okay, it's nice. It's got a nice... Yes, and that dog was so beautiful, so loving. And my husband, he's so bad, like, with animals and stuff like that. He was going to throw my dog anywhere. And I was like, no, you're going to go bury my damn dog. And I remember, like, I made him go. He went to, like, a field. 
somewhere and he buried my dog. It was so sad, you guys. It was so terrible. But I was just like, how can you not help my dog? And how is this something in the dirt? Like, how is there something like that here? And you guys, I just didn't understand it. But yeah. Vets, that's what that made me think about is the vets. Wow, this is such a beautiful color, you guys. Look at that. I knew I didn't have anything like this in my stash. Look at how bomb. Histoplasmosis, maybe. But they said it's something in red dirt. And I just couldn't understand. I was like, what the hell kind of country shit is this? Sorry, Sheikah. My country people don't get offended by that. But um, even some of the hospitals in Mississippi, they're just like bad. Like, I don't know. They need to get it together. They need to get to 2024. Get with the times. You know what I'm saying? All right. So let me get my little... I don't even know where it is. My little embossing. You can just use any paintbrush. Let me use this one. Oh, you're not from there. <laughs> so use something to get all the excess off. Ooh, look at all that. Look at how pretty it is already, you guys. I love this color so far. All right, let's emboss it. Where's my little fingers? Where's my little hands? I'll probably never use them again. Me either, Amber. It was so bad. I'm telling you. And I was like, I don't care how much it costs. Help my dog. And they were like, we, there's nothing we can do. It was so traumatic. Like, just seeing the life leave from my dog, I've never witnessed anything like that. It was so terrible. Okay. It's also here in Arizona. Parvo, yes. Heidi, that's what it is, Parvo. Let's use our little hands. This is so weird. <laughs> Warming up. There we go. Thank you, Beth. They are. I was in love with that dog. He was so cute. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to emboss it really good. It seems like it's taking a little while to melt. I want to melt it really well. You can see it melt. I'm going to show you right now. Hi, Tia. Give me a second, guys. Let me um, emboss this really quick. And I'm going to show you everything. It's so pretty, guys. You can see all those colors. It's like blue. <laughs> I know. <laughs> this die set is amazing. All right, I think it's been bossed all the way. Wow, this embossing folder is amazing. I'm going to have, I mean, and powder. I'm going to have to um, go back and see. This thing hurts my hands, guys. It's kind of hard to hold. Mm, look at that. It kind of hurts my hands. But this is Pink and Main Spring Meadow is the name of this. I know it was so sad. And I can't believe my husband was just going to, like, dump my dog. I'm like, no, you're going to go bury my dog. Look at how pretty, guys. And we did a proper proper burial for him. It was so sad, guys, for her, Bella. Okay, let's color her and him in. We don't know what Mr. Rabbit identifies himself as. So let's not assume. All right, guys, let's use some of these Distress watercolor pencils that I have yet to use. My friend Renee, Renee, girl, I still have not opened this, guys. I have planned on doing a video with this. They actually released three more new ones of this, so these are the old ones. 
I'm thinking about getting the full collection, but honestly, I really don't need it. So I'm trying not to. I know I want to collect the their stamps. His stamps are amazing, you guys. And you guys seen the other ones they come with. Let's just do some coloring on this, and then we'll probably stamp some more of the other ones. It's sold out. Now, I did get this Mr. Rabbit. I got him from um, Simon Says Stamps because it had a coordinating stamp that's exclusive to them, guys, for those of you who are just joining. So see if they have it there. If they don't have it, just sign up for notifications for scrapbook.com for when he gets it back in. I know, and his name is Mr. Rabbit, right? So we should say him. But you just never know nowadays what, you know, people and animals want to identify as. Okay. So since it's got a lot of blue going on, God, these are gorgeous. I can't reach the other ones in my drawer. Hold on. Yeah, we're just going to have to use this set. Oh, my back is hurting, guys. Okay. So, shout out to Renee. She got this for me. It was the only one that I needed. And she was like, don't buy it. I want to gift it to you. And I am so grateful. Thank you so much for that. Why am I grabbing this and I don't have a water brush ready? Hold on, guys. Maybe we shouldn't use these. The stress. But just FYI, he does have... He just released... Three new sets of these watercolor distress pencils, 